Hello, I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. This is your update on the coolest developer news from Google in the last week. Firebase in-app messaging is now available. It will help you guide active app users by sending them targeted and contextual messages. Take a look at the post linked in the description below for this and several other updates across Firebase, including the addition of change history to remote config, crash analytics integrations, and more. The Wear app review process, in place since the launch of Android Wear 2.0, will soon become mandatory. New apps listed on the Wear OS by Google version of the Google Play Store will require review beginning in October of 2018, while updates to existing apps will require review beginning of March of 2019. For details, take a look at the post. You can now author cloud functions that use headless Chrome and utilize all the features of a web browser in a fully serverless environment. Use cases include taking screenshots of web pages, server-side rendering, implementing web crawlers, and more. Example code is on the post. Earlier this year, Google's Project Zero team disclosed serious security flaws rooted in speculative execution. Spectre and Meltdown were the first instances of these attacks, and now Intel has published details on a new set of speculative execution vulnerabilities. Head on over to the post to learn how we mitigate guest-controlled entries not controlled by the host OS, and what steps you may need to take to ensure you are fully protected. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. This is your update on the coolest developer noodles. Bleah. This is your update. All right, so one more time. Developer noodles. <laughs> noodles. This is your update. All right. <laughs>